Happy May. Happy Mother's Day yep. to all the mothers yes. out Happy there. Happy Mother's Day. Um, all the fur moms, all the mom moms, all the people moms, all oh, the grandmoms, <laughs> grandmoms, stepmoms. You know what? Really, godmothers. Well, how about godmothers? Godmothers, aunties, yeah. aunties, sisters, everybody. It's a very all special month. We are celebrating mothers all day, all month. We're celebrating mothers and. Um, we were talking a little bit before we opened about how moms really don't take care of themselves and it's always just everybody else before them. forget about them. Right, so we so right. There's never time. Once mile first. That's right. Which is what we do on our show here every month. Yes. Because it makes us better moms, right? You feel good. Yeah. Take Honestly, care. Totally. Of your yeah. Take care of other people. Right. 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 What do they say on the plane that I just got off of? Okay. Well, always put the mask on yourself first. First, so you can help you can. everybody else. Yep. And speaking Same of the life. plane, Cami just came back from an exciting mission trip. Can you share with us a little bit about your mission trip? So uh, I went to Puerto Rico with my company, and we did a uh, missionary service sabbatical um, in four major, really still not very well off areas, very hard hit areas. Hard hit from the, from the hurricane. hurricane. Um, Irma and Maria. Maria really did the last number on them. And still some areas where there's no water, no power. Um, and so we went to four schools. We gave out, we went to Souls for Souls, and so we gave out shoes. And we gave out uh, blessing bags with hygiene and spices. And, and, you know, when you have children come up to you handing me back a toy, like which is, by the way, like a pencil and a sticker, and they were so excited, um, and asking for a blessing bag for their family instead. Oh, and these goodness. kids are Sweet. elementary school kids. So very emotional, nice. very, I felt, it was very rewarding. I, I Your pictures were amazing back. Yeah, yeah. that you posted. Yeah, really. yeah. It's a beautiful so, country, isn't it? Beautiful absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Be on our amazing people. The food. Is incredible, just the whole culture and the traditions, and um, and the kids look just so happy, right? Happy. So, yeah. just so, so like staring yeah. in so awe, awe, right? In awe that right. Cause I can't believe this well, is they happening. Well, they call themselves with... a couple of the areas we're in. They call themselves one area de Tuago. They call themselves mountain areas, so it's very hard to get things working again there logistically. It's very hard. Oh, like electricity. Um, yeah. yeah, and so we saw some helicopters while we were there, trying to with men hanging from the helicopters in the mountains, mm -hmm. trying to fix lines. Um, hmm. they, call, they call themselves the forgotten ones. And so that just breaks Sad. Yeah, there was really but slow. Will you tell the areas. girls what you told me earlier when we were getting our hair done about um, this would never happen? What well, made I just you upset? feel like, you know, uh, um, I just feel like well, they're American. They are United States yeah. citizens. They're Americans. Right. And I feel like I just, yes, it, yes, the landscape is different, and so they have more challenges. But still, in Connecticut, I, I don't think we would be right. under this Enough. situation. Right. We I had think, Katrina, which was pretty devastating. By the way, when I was there, quickly. I didn't see FEMA. I didn't see a FEMA truck. Hmm. I didn't see. I saw some Navy. Um, I'm sorry, Army on the ground. We had to be escorted in by police with our supplies because the National Guard that was just there had gotten attacked for the supplies because these people are desperate. Right, they're grabbing them so wherever they could. why they call themselves the yeah. forgotten. And then there's still areas like Old San Juan where people are getting off their ships and everything's hunky-dory. Right. Yeah, the tourist areas. Well, thank you for going and for yes. what you did. Um, yeah. You know, I think anybody out there would do the same thing if they had the opportunity, and I'm just yeah. blessed that I had so the opportunity. Nice. Yeah, what an opportunity. So, and so we'll jump right into our hot topics. Yes. We'll start with Carol. Carol has a great hot topic. So on Tuesday, uh, early, a couple weeks ago, um, Amazon decided to launch their Amazon Key, a second part of their Amazon Key. And if you're not familiar with Amazon Key, it is their delivery service that delivers into your home. Um, it's digital access, allows the delivery to enter into your home. There's a lot of issues, even locally in our own town, um, on our local website, there's a lot of issues with uh, packages being stolen. So Amazon took the step to allow, if somebody wanted to have their package delivered into their house, Access is granted. The mm -hmm. second part of it now, which is really kind of neat, they're allowing delivery to made into your trunk of your car. So it's an That's app. a little oh, kind of wow. scary, I think. Well, if you're like, allowing them into your house, I mean, yeah. why not? But, but here's the question. Why car? would your car be there if you're not there? Well, it doesn't have to be at your home. It can be at your like office. If you're at oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Really? Okay. Wherever you well, that I would do. I would feel more comfortable with that. Yeah, yeah if it's going, going to your house. workplace. Yeah. yeah. Right. You, yeah. But but you're different than what's happening right. in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Talk about, different. like, yeah. I know, yeah. huh? Right. My mind has to shift, but yeah, you're right. The whole level of privacy that we're now giving up and allowing people yeah. to have. Mm -hmm. So that's scary, I kind of feel like. And with Facebook. Right. I think, though, the difference, though, it seems, is, like, Amazon gives us help. Amazon is a helper to us, does something for us. So that's oh, kind of a trade like my best friend. Well, they give you oh and they yes. and it's, their Me mission too. is all about commission. I meant commission. Well, that too. But all Same about um, convenience. They're wonderful. There's one day no fee service. How, how do you beat that? I know. Yeah. You, you, you can't. can't. Beat that. Yeah, yeah. You can get everything there. 
So it's a wonderful feature, and you know they're going to come out with that. They talked also about possibly an Amazon robot coming out in the future. Oh my gosh! Because we have Alexa yeah. in our house yeah. now. Yeah, True. that's kind of our mini little robot. Which you right. can order Amazon. Anything you can yeah, order. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Alexa, order me a socks. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so now it's going to be like the next step is going to be like a physical little robot and they're to help coming you to your laundry, door to help okay. you do all these different I'm things. I'm all really? for help with laundry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm all for help with laundry. Help laundry. Cheers, Cheers to that. Because yeah. I think I do laundry Please every do my laundry. And so um, my hot topic, not as exciting, not as fun, but America's favorite dad a few weeks ago was um, convicted of three counts of felony and aggravated indecent assault, mm. Bill Cosby. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, it happened a couple weeks ago, right. but it's still... You know what? After and a I, second jury after trial. After a second jury right. trial. And he could get up to 10 years for each of those counts, which they're saying he, he could just it's die three counts. in jail. Mm -hmm. right. Which he probably will. He's 80, but yes. they're going to do of course. concurrent. They're not going to do consecutive. Right, right, right. So it'd be 10 this years. This is our staff attorney right here. Yeah. Staff <laughs> attorney. So she knows. She knows all the legal but, legalities. But, and did you hear what happened in the courtroom? When he found out, yeah, I he was heard about it. Good. Yeah, just, wearing, just displays yeah. his normal yeah. disposition as a person, and it kind of just ruins watching the Cosby Show. I mean, like, yeah, I know. You it ever just, see the old reruns? Yeah. yeah, no, I love it, and I used to love I it. Love I used to love it, or his Jello commercials. Come yeah, on. <laughs> yeah, no more ugly sweaters. But anyhow, um, I know that we're getting the signal, and so we're excited to um, yes. be right back with we'll some back wonderful, two wonderful ladies. And they've got lots to share. And all about Mother's Day. So yep. we'll be right back. Cheers. Cheers. So welcome back. Here we are again. And in honor of Mother's Day, we are excited to have two special moms joining us today. We have Karen Hollerant. Hello. Welcome, She's Karen. the winner of our Mother's Day Makeover Contest. Hi, Yay. Karen. Hi, Karen. So happy to have you here. And next to her is Kimberly Boothiette. And she is Karen's friend. And she is the one that nominated her for this wonderful day of wonderful makeover. So welcome, both of you. Welcome, welcome ladies. Show. Yes, welcome. So nice to have you. It's great to have you. It's great to see you again, Karen. Um, so out of about, I don't know, a lot of um, applications. I think it was like 50. Yeah. Jabberhead 80 agents. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Jabberhead went through all of them, picked out the winner. And um, so Kimberly, you are um, a West Hartford resident. Yes. And you just celebrated your 17th wedding anniversary yes. with your husband, Chris. And you guys have two two boys, boys just five and seven. Okay, and you work Henry and eight. So Henry and eight. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and you work for United Technologies in Farmington as an associate director of accounting operations. That's right. Um, you have been Karen's next door neighbor for uh, since 2011, and you guys have been friends since then. When you moved into town. That's right. All right, and I love your. Um, message that you sent to mom's timeout regarding why you thought Karen was the person to win the day of wonderful and I'm just going to read it so you said I would like to nominate my neighbor Karen Holland Karen is an ASL interpreter and mother of five kids including a sweet second grader at Brayburn Elementary who has some birth defects which requires special attention Karen is the backbone of our fam of her family when I look outside she usually has every kid in the neighborhood over to play Karen wears many hats, as most modern moms do, and such as a professional, a wife, a mother. Karen lost her mother a year ago and continues to manage the grief while being the person out shoveling the snow, juggling ASL appointments, bringing in trash cans, and getting her youngest son the care he needs. Recently, Karen has made a lot of public statements on social media on how her kids think she looks like a boy or the extra few pounds that she's gained. Karen is a wonderful person and deserves to feel as special as she is. That just that brought a tear to all of our eyes. That was so <laughs> sweet. Friend. Oh my God. Beautiful, you know. sweet. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so maybe we'll just jump right in and maybe we will ask Kimberly. So why, why did you nominate Karen? That was beautiful. But so why funny. did you feel that she was... Tell me a little bit about sure. why, what inspired you to so nominate. So when I saw your post about what you were looking for, I immediately thought about Karen. Um, of someone that's deserving and could use a timeout, right? Yeah. Like we're always putting our kids in <laughs> timeout. Aww. We need a timeout Love sometimes, right. yeah. too. And how often do we hear of people having five kids, and, you know, this day and age? Again? It's amazing. It's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. So I think um, I always see Karen, right? So we're next-door neighbors, right. and sometimes it's a wave or 
um, the first time I started getting to know Karen, she just came knock on my door, didn't really know me, and then, I'm here to take your boys. <gasps> and I was like, wow. okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and at the time, my youngest was about two, and it was like, Oh, they left the house. <laughs> I was like, Chris is like, where did they go? I'm like, they're at the neighbors. Yeah. And then it was just like, I'm like, both of them? And then it just kind of go for there. But, you know, sometimes we don't see each other often. And it's, but I notice, right? right. I always tell her, I notice you. I see what you're out there. Like the big snowstorm, Karen's the first one out there with a the shovel <laughs> before the rest of the family. When the, we had that weather and the fence is falling down. She's like, oh, so I propped my fence up by myself at 10 o'clock tonight. And I'm like, <laughs> how does she do it all, right? Because yeah. it's really amazing. So, it really so what did you think of Karen when you found out that you were the winner? It was pretty overwhelming. <laughs> I got a text from Kimberly at night saying, can we talk like tomorrow morning at 8.30 or something? And I'm like, well, why aren't we just texting now or no. talking now or meeting in the middle of the street like we usually do when we need to pass something across the street to each other or whatever? Because I so, think like a lot of women, we support each other. Friends, husbands, absolutely. children, they're all there. But I think women truly are the ones that support and see, like you said, I see you. Right. And mm -hmm. so that must have been just so powerful for you to be like, wow, somebody's like. It was. It was, it was amazing. It was very sweet. So exciting. Yeah. I still, I was looking forward to the day and it's passed and I'm like, wow, that happened so quickly. The whole, yeah. the whole nomination. And so I know and, Cammie wasn't there. So share with happened. Cammie and everybody out yeah. there. Yeah. Tell us about your day. Because day. Day. you look, first of all, you look amazing. You look, you look you. beautiful. Yeah. Both, of you look beautiful. Both of you look beautiful. Both of you look beautiful. I social media, all the posts of all the different outfits and people going back and forth. You know, which outfit is the best? And I'm like, yeah. she looks amazing. First she of all, did. she's a great figure. And her hair, hair, and her hair, and her hair. I don't know what your kids are talking about because yeah, don't wait. You're fabulous. Um, yeah. Every outfit looks good. The photo really shoot, did. she was like a natural. Owning she was it. like, yeah, owning it. Yeah, you were. <laughs> At the end, you were. <laughs> but the outfits, yeah, they were. So, Karen, maybe, you know, maybe we'll take a step back. Can you tell us about your life? What is your day to day mm. life like? Well, the three older kids are out of the house. So, that helps a little bit because one of them's graduated from college. There are two in college. And then there's a 13 and an 8 year old at home. Mm hmm. And, you know, there's enough to take care of. And then I have, I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. So I work full time. Oh, so but you work full time too. But it's scattered. It's, I have three full days and then I take on jobs. And so do okay. you work the other for days. an agency? Or I work for an agency for three days, so I have the health insurance benefits. Mm. And you travel, you were telling me, too, all, and over, I, all over the state, right? And I travel all over the state for the appointments because, you know, you can't say I'm going to work eight to five and have appointments just fall naturally into place during that time. So you travel where you're needed and what time you're needed to. And I'm sometimes so curious how you got into that. In college, I took sign language, and I was Lovely. working in vocational rehab. Okay. So I went to work in American School for the Deaf. And I did that for a long time until we had Dean, who was who's now 13. But it was easier to stay home and pick and choose my hours a little yeah, more. Yeah, that's nice. You can do that. So. Right. And any of your kids sign? Just curious. So no. no. <laughs> so you're always caring. You're always caring for people. You're caring for other people. You're helping them. You're helping your family. And so what was your favorite part of, I mean, we're going to see all the wonderful pictures we're putting up throughout our discussion here of our day. It was fast. I feel like it was like a whirlwind. It was. Did you feel like Cinderella? Because that's what we wanted you to feel it like. It was, yeah. It was fabulous. <laughs> Well, things well, things I never would have done on my own. Right. Go ahead, Karen. Day. We could start. Well, your day. how did it start in the morning? Woke up. Where'd you go first? We started at Face It mm -hmm. for yeah. a facial. Mm -hmm. Anita Wolf, amazing, and her whole staff. Great. Yeah. She took off layers of skin that <laughs> needed didn't to know come off. There. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, you said they, um, what did they do? A chemical peel? A chemical something? peel. Oh, yes. That's amazing. So nice. Yes. They I took mean, off my mustache that my eight year old always comments <laughs> on me having as my she mustache. She was like, oh, she came upstairs to get her hair done, and you were just like, oh, oh I can't remember. So oh. Nice. Yeah. So and we then went Carmen. went upstairs to yep. Fringe and had a haircut and a color yeah. or highlight. Which looks beautiful. Thank you. I mean, and Karen wanted so to go stylish. really bright. Carmen was like, let me go a little Oh, it looks so pretty, yeah. right? Subtle. It yeah, so pretty. I've never colored my hair before. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Wow. So we definitely had the right person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. For so many Perfect. reasons. I know. All around. Like all, like, and then Fringe gave you a nice goodie bag. 
yes. of um, products. Oh, yes. Nice. And I got some goodies from Face It, too. Oh. oh. So ah. <laughs> and then and Michael, then uh, not Michael, BJ where? whisked us down to Blueback Square. Yes, we went to Blow Dry Bar. In uh -huh. style, I hear. And oh, yeah. Style. style and makeup. Yeah, oh. and, you know, Venice and all of the ladies over at Blow are just... Yes. They're awesome. Well, you know, because they did your hair and makeup know, too tonight. Yeah. Both of you ladies. Yeah. We love yeah. Blow. They're, they take good care of us. Her whole crew. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 is just they're amazing there. Outstanding makeup artist. Yeah. I think yeah, that was our first our first champagne of the day. Was that our first champagne, Karen? Yeah, that at was Blow? our first champagne yeah. at Blow. It was Even only like it 11. Just gonna say it. it was it like was noon. It was almost <laughs> noon. It was noon, yeah. And that's when Lori and Carol joined us. Yeah, we joined at Blow. Yeah. And that was awesome. And then after blow, then we went across the street. Oh, across the street. street. Oh, that was, that was so really much fun. The best. She was great. She was, great. Ooh, she la was la really la great. Shadows Ooh La La Boutique, yes. which is one of my favorite here in Blue Back, right? And she yeah. just started. I didn't even look through the racks. She just brought me she things. She brought everything. She knew what was going to go with first. me. She wanted to get yes. to know a little bit about you, yep. what you like, what you don't like, what your lifestyle's like. Yeah. Which I and I told her that too. because I'm a sign language interpreter, I have to wear like something black or dark all the time, solid color. So I said, I don't want that today. This is what I got. So that's as colorful, yeah, that's as opposite from black as you can get. you know, you can, you, you totally owned it. Like, you know, you were a little shy in the beginning and then you were coming out and you were like putting your hands on your hips and you were like owning it. And it was so much fun. You got the earrings and you got the glasses, the sunglasses and. Oh my gosh, so Seshu, much fun. And then the photographer. Oh yeah, that oh, yes. was awesome. So nice. He yes. did beautiful professional photographs of yeah. you. Yeah. And she was owning it, Richard. Richard, her husband's in the audience, and she was owning it, Richard. She <laughs> was. Richard, you got a hot ticket here. <laughs> and then Jabberhead Media was catching all of this and posting oh, it. Oh, she I was there right in the beginning. Yeah. Was happening. Well, even the whole contest itself, leading up to it, Jabberhead oh, yeah. yes. did, all did of a it. phenomenal yep. job Absolutely. for Absolutely. Then we hopped back in our, it was really funny, because the funny part was when JB, our driver, so you can't really stop in Blueback Square yeah, because it's so park, congested. Right. And he was like, Adrian, I'm out front. Oh, okay, I'm leaving. And I was like, oh, but we're not. <laughs> so I jumped in the car with him, and we just kind of circled until you all were ready to make your appearance and come out. Yep. And then we just drove up, and we had a lovely, lovely lunch at Grant's. Yeah. Yeah, that was, was Billy Grant there. Oh yeah, he served us. No. Uh, Billy was, was not there. Oh, Billy was not there. But his the, wonderful, but, but John, I John, think, was our John, waiter. John. But Billy right. gave us a beautiful so lunch, okay. and we had more, a little bit more prosecco. A little bit more yeah. champagne and dessert. <laughs> it was just a fun yeah. way to like end, I think, yeah. the day. It was, it was great to be able to sit and talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess yeah, you know each other a little bit more. Yeah. So yeah. So what are you? So tell me, what are you ladies doing for hold Mother's on, Day? I, hold on, before we get to that, I do have to ask you, Karen. What did Richard nice. say? What did the kids say when you went home? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Because I dropped you off. I want to hear the comments. What were the comments? I have boys. You have boys. Oh, so so, so they're like, yeah, they have to say yeah. Right. So, not much. Not much? My 13-year-old wants to know why I have black eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but how did you question. feel? Did you feel? I felt great. Right. I felt great. It was, it was hard like to change out of it. And, yeah, it was just so natural. You looked great. And you we kept saying, fantastic. Richard, you have to take her out. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. We got away and went out at night. Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Yeah, it was Little great. date night. That's wonderful. Yep. Okay. okay. Did you see her, Kimberly, when she came home? No, I only saw the pictures. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, well so look, you get to see her now. You weren't home. I, I went over to your house. Oh, you did? Yeah. See? Oh, we're never home. Karen's, no. like, knocking on all the doors <laughs> in the neighborhood. Look at me! <laughs> look at me! Even if she doesn't know you, she's knocking. <laughs> That's yeah. great. That's wonderful. We were so excited to do that for you. It was really special. It, it was really a very was. Special and, day. and it wasn't us. It was all of our amazing companies and supporters. All the sponsors yeah. were so generous mm -hmm. and so happy to do it for you. And, and with so you. many moms are yes. so serving, nice. honestly. And like we said earlier, like they don't do things for themselves. And so it was nice to really take yes. the time and really hone in on somebody well deserved being. And what a great friend you have here. Yes, yeah. I know. That. It really was nice that you did that. I mean, we had like 50 people enter. The contest, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Which tells us there is a lot of moms out there who need a time out, right? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. What do you guys do now for self care, Kimberly? What do you do? How do you put the boys? Yeah, how do you pamper yourself? Stop for a little right. bit. So I have to admit, I have a very sporting husband who has agreed. We kind of have this thing where I go for the girls' week away or weekend, mm. and he yes. goes for the guys' weekend. So that's working really nice that's like good, though. getting all the way out for more than just yeah, a good. highlight and right. a cut is 
working for us. So, so yeah. go away. Go away. How um, long do you go away for? So and can we come with you? Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> actually, we need to have the whole experience. I needed friends last year. I um, was supposed to go with a girlfriend, and she was unable to make it. And I had a non-refundable trip booked to Clearwater Beach. Oh, and my oh, to to Florida. oh my And I was like, oh, what am I going to do, <laughs> right? Because she's supposed to be coming from a different part of the country. And my husband said, just go go and I said by myself yeah. and so I went and it was the best five days of my oh my god that sounds amazing because it just was um you know I did whatever I wanted yeah you exactly. know and you didn't check with anybody right. yeah there was no checking in you don't have to cut anyone's time. food oh no, I think I would love there that was <laughs> no, That's awesome. there was no like brush your teeth get your yeah teeth yeah, out, yeah right that. and no so, watching to make sure nobody gets taken out in a wave <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, sit on the beach that and read be oh my god but listen can I just say this yeah. If that ever happens again, if you only have one ticket, start with Cam. Uh, yeah. Start with me. Well, maybe you should start with you. But, <laughs> yeah, right. And then we'll go down the line. But you know what? I love that you did that because we all feel like, oh my God, I can't go out to dinner by myself. That's I can't so go to great. movies right. by myself. And even when we go away and we try to go away, we cut, try to do a couple weekends, mm -hmm. it takes me like a day to feel right. like, oh, I can just do right. what do, I want right. to do. You can like, stop yeah. checking yeah. in, yeah. right? There's yeah. nobody else yeah. that I have to take care of. Yeah. But that's yeah. so, that's a great thing. That we have nice. to look it into was. that. It was a gift that both. I mean, I miss my friend, right? Of course. But it was a gift that I didn't yeah. expect, that I didn't know that I needed. Right. So, nice. yeah. yeah. And Karen, do you have Mother's Day plans yet? No, not I yet. Don't. Well, oh, good to Richard time. in the audience. Yeah, we have many ideas for Richard, so don't yeah. you worry, Karen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, so we just want to say we have a little something for both yes, of you before do. you wrap up. Yes, we do. We, we do. usually give wine, but in honor of Mother's Day, we wanted to give you some beautiful flowers. Oh, goodness. They're in a box. Thank you. Um, for oh, each of you, beautiful. but there's a vase underneath. But thank you. Happy early happy Mother's yeah. Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. Day, thank you. Mother's thank Day. you. We're and to all you moms. And keep all taking all time for yourself. Yes. Because that's how we take best care of the people that we love. And thank, thank you so much yeah, for yeah. everything that thank happened for me on oh, Saturday. It was our pleasure. Yeah. It was I'm our so pleasure. honored to be part of it. Thank you. Oh. And we're oh. going to see you soon on the scavenger hunt. Yes. Oh, boy. I'll be right back. What so, ladies, what a great, great, great those ladies amazing. were amazing. They're so nice. They're so sweet. Yeah, and so what sweet. a what a great blessing this and all so was so for for the mom. So yeah. Deserving. yeah, yeah, so yeah. deserving. It was awesome. And I love that her wonderful. friend nominated her. I know. It's, it's like so girl nice. power. Yes, absolutely. we have to do this every year. I think yeah. we should make it like And we'll bring Kim Kimberly and Karen back every year too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I think so they would like that. I know. It was fun. It was yeah. we had a lot of fun. We had such a fabulous day. And we wanted to thank some of our sponsors. Um, we had Face It Spa, Carmen Perez, who did her um, facial, right? Nope, Carmen did her hair. Carmen did her hair. Fringe Hair Works, Blow Blow Dry Bar, Ooh La La Boutique, who like gave her the best outfit. It was amazing. Oh, I love her She outfit. tried on so many outfits looked and everything looked yeah. great on her. I was so jealous. Yeah, I'm yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Then Seishu. Photography she did a love, amazing oh gosh, photo shoot so nice. for her. Um, it was it was and of us. He took some pictures of us. Um, it was great. And then Bill Grant, Billy, which oh, sorry, Billy sorry. Grant. I know Billy. We I'm love Billy. Um, yeah, and he uh, fabulous lunch we had at um, Grant's. It was awesome. And Michael's limousine who transported us all around with JB in style. J yeah, JB. yeah, and goes around West Hartford China in a limo. I like know. Pick us up half, right half where, you know, Saturday. yeah. It was great. It was fun. Well, that's fun. Paul Martin is the owner, and he's yep. just, he always helps. He's fantastic. Uh, so yeah. please Very patronize sweet. them because they yes. were wonderful to Karen and to us. And All so we're excited also this month of May to announce a lot of our partners in the community have been um, wonderfully supportive of everything that we do, and they have some specials coming out. So there's a number of sponsors, a number of our partners, excuse me, are giving discounts. So if you go in and you say "Mom's Time Out," they're time gonna out. they're gonna they're gonna give you amazing deal. So Blow Blow Hair Dry Bar mm -hmm. is doing a package of four blowouts for 160 bucks, awesome. and that's until May 15th, and that saved you I think five dollars a blow. Yeah, Ula La is doing 10 percent off through Mother's Day. And Ula La, I mean the prices are so reasonable. So reasonable. Oh yeah, they yeah. really yeah. are. Yeah. 
Seishu Photography, our, our biggest photography friend, Seishu is doing a special offer for Mom's Time Out during the month of May. Scout and Molly Boutique, oh, which we love, boutique. Michelle. She's doing 20% off of any purchase wow. through Mother's Day. So oh my gosh. Again, so affordable yep. anyways. Yeah. Melissa at Sight Optical is doing 10% off any eyewear. And Iris Photography is also doing a special. And we're going to put all of this on our Facebook page. So um, don't forget, if you post any pictures, of you going into all of those wonderful companies, just do hashtag MTO Mother's Day. Hashtag MTO Mother's Day. And we'll pick it up. Yeah. And, and, we'll and our partners will give you even more specials when you do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everybody have a wonderful Mother's Day. Be with everybody you love. Happy Mother's Day. Treat yourself Day. special. Yes. Don't forget. You, you put, put the, the time, time in. in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take, take the time, time out. out. Cheers, ladies. Cheers.